hello everyone you are welcome today we have a very beautiful geometry math problem here we have given a circle and there are three line segments which are perpendicular to each other such that the length of this segment is nine units this is four units and this is three units and here our target is to find out the radius of this circle to find out the radius of this circle here we can use multiple methods different methods but one of the easiest method is the pythagoras theorem now to apply here the Pythagoras theorem, we need a right angle triangle. Now to draw here a right angle triangle, we will expand this one side, this one line segment, and also join this point with the center in the opposite point. So this figure will become. Now look into this one figure here. We have a right angle triangle, but this angle is 90 degrees angle. Here this side is 9 inverse. This side is the diameter of this circle, which is 2 times r, 2r. And here we have given this one length but this length is not given so let us suppose this length is equal to x so here we will try to find out the value of x to find out the value of x here we will extend this one side and we will also draw here a parallel line to this one side so this figure will become look to the figure here we have a rectangle so here this side is 9 inverse so this side will be also 9 inverse now this length is 4 inverse so this length will be also 4 inverse as this is line is symmetric to this one line so therefore here this length is x so this line will be also x and this is 3 units so this will be also 3 units now here our target is to find out the value of x in this one line so for that here we will try to find out this one line now here we have two chords in this one point this one chord and this one chord so using the chord intersecting theorem here we will try to find out the value of x so by chord intersecting theorem the product of two segments of one chord is equal to the product of two segments of the second chord so here this chord this segment is 3 units and this total segment is 9 plus 3 which is 12 units and this is 4 and this is x so therefore from here we can write 4 times x is equal to that is 3 times 12 or 12 times 3 so this will become this is simply 4x is equal to 12 times 3 is simply 36 dividing both sides by 4 this gives him 4 and 4 will be cancelled and 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 9 is 36 so here the value of x is simply 9 this is the value of x means the value of this one length or this one length so here this line is 9 inverse. Now look to this one right angle triangle. Here we have the length of these three sides. This is 9 inverse. This side is 9 plus 4 which is 13 inverse. So this is 13. And here this is the diameter which is equal to 2R. Now here we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So therefore from here from this figure we can write here our hypotenuse as 2R. This will become 2R whole square is equal to the second side is 9 square plus the other side is 9 plus 4 which is 13. This will become 13 square. Let's simplify this one equation for the value of R. So this will become 4R square is equal to 9 square simply 81 plus 13 square simply 169. So just further simplify both sides. This is 4 r square and this is 9 1 is 10. So this is 0. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. So this is 5. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is 250. Let us divide both sides by 4. Here 4 and 4 will be cancelled. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And this will become 10. So 2 times 5 is 10. So here the value of r square is 125 divided by 2. Now to find out the value of r here, we will take square root on both sides. So for the final value of r will become here. This gives him approximately 7.9 inverse, and that is our final answer and final radius. So finally, the radius of this circle is simply. 7.9 units and that is our final correct answer.